Who smiled warmly with the promise of another adventure. Stemmer, did you need something? As a new dream dawned for the adventuring trio, they returned to the depths of the formerly sunken city. Where fortune was found behind every crumbling wall as a bulging keg bursts with free-flowing ale. That is, we broke our way into more of the ruins below. And in one of them, the wordsmith beheld a glimmering gizmo, a wonder among a sea of wonders. Alas, the gizmo lay beyond his grasp. You saw some kind of gizmo but couldn't get it? A door bars the way, locked by some confounded means. Moreland contemplated explosives, but Abaddon thought the odds of crushing the gizmo under rubble were too high. For once, the Shard counter skepticism might be warranted. The old wordsmith's hopes were dashed, until a friend with a knack for performing the impossible returned from beyond the sands. Might I persuade you to venture beneath the desert once more? I'll see what I can do. Where is this place? Once you're down there, take a ride at the statue of the giant man. The ruin rests beside a metal tower. And so our heroine went forth, and the wordsmith's hopes went with her. Who here dares? statue that Stemmer mentioned. The moon should be nearby. Because my stem is after she be outside. I think I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin. See if I can find anything that might help. What's in here? Huh. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. Like the ones I found in other ruins. I think the ornament here is the last one in the set. And it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. There we go. The hatch. 
might lead to another part of the ruin. But I'll get to it. the opening now. Outside. What else is up here? All of the ruin in there. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion? Way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground. How? Another part of the place here too. I should have where I need to open the door. Summer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think I found all of them. So the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the feast of the first keg, the 
feast of fermentation, the all hops feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Mm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Let's go with this one. I'll get right to it. Ah, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. But they couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon. Could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Oh, and before I forget, help yourself to the contents of that chest over there. For our heroine had dared the challenges of the West, recovering lights long lost, and deserved riches and rewards in kind. I'm not quite sure I live up to all that, but thanks. Journeys unknown, the Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. So, are you feeling festive? Take your pick. This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Beneath the cascade of golden leaves, the old wordsmith found himself reflecting inwards, meditation of the mind, and a calming of the spirit. The old wordsmith's heart warmed as a friend returned. So, did you want to make some changes around here? I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. As sure as sparks kindle flame, this must have been some kind of winter festival. But what kind of beast is that? Almost looks like a fang horn. Aloy, this old wordsmith is always happy to see you. So, did you want to change the lights? Let's see this one. You got it. Why by the forge would the old ones celebrate some kind of green leaf? It's for luck, I think. Good to see you again, Aloy. So, what'll it be? Let's put this one up. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. Now what do rabbits, eggs, and flowers have to do with each other? Signs of spring, maybe. So she entered once more, our heroine whom all adore. So, what can I do for you? I want to see this one. And so the wordsmith set out to bring new light to the ruins above. Ah, this is stranger than a spark in a puddle. What kind of festival celebrates bats? By the forge during the party, what did they feast on? Aloy, this old wordsmith is always happy to see you. So, did you want to change the lights? Let's go with this one. I'll get right to it. Mm -hmm. 
showers of sparks and serpents. Whatever they were celebrating, it must have been quite a festival. Ignoring me again? The old wordsmith's heart warmed as a friend returned. So, what can I do for you? Let's put this one up. By our heroine's word, the lights would dazzle the sky. A lot of hearts flying around. I'd bet shards this one's dedicated to the romantic arts. From Journeys Unknown, the Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. So, are you feeling festive? Take your pick. Let's see this one. You got it. Fireworks like Moreland's. And all that other stuff floating around. Is that snow? I uh, don't think so. Dust? No. Hail? I think it's just sparkles. Oh. Yeah! Interesting. <laughs> 